The White House wants to give $18 million to Kentucky to treat addiction to prescription painkillers and heroin. Connections is on location in Washington, D.C. with U.S. Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack to talk about the administration's response to the opioid addiction epidemic sweeping the nation. Secretary Vilsack is personally familiar with addiction as he watched his adopted mother struggle with drug use and eventually find a path to sobriety. We have far too many people dying uh, from overdoses and abuse, uh, about 84 a day on average. Uh, we are spending a substantial amount of money at health care expense that we could be prevented if we did a better job of this about twenty five billion dollars of additional health care expense we're losing the productivity of these folks in our economy at a time when we need everybody uh... basically pulling this economy forward and frankly we're also increasing the cost of our criminal justice system because of this so there are many reasons to attack this uh... and we're beginning to see some signs of help and some signs of progress kentucky uh... certainly has been aggressive uh... in this area they've looked at ways in which they can create uh, access to reversal drugs more uh, easily uh, they've had an aggressive monitoring program. They're beginning to see a slight decline in, in, in deaths. So that's the positive side of this, but we still have a long, long way to go. Yes. You are unfortunately very personally and painfully familiar with this issue uh, with your adopted mother who dealt with addiction. If you don't mind sharing her experience and how you witnessed it and how it impacted you. Well, you know, it's a, it's a tough situation, and I, and I certainly appreciate it. My heart goes out to any family that's struggling with this. My memories are of a, a, as a young child uh, watching my mom try to commit suicide on one occasion, uh, having her distance herself from our family, going up into the attic of our home uh, and drinking herself and taking prescription bills uh, to ease the pain uh, of, the, of a difficult life for her. Um, it was tough and she was at times uh, violent. Um, uh, it was very, very hard. She was hospitalized several times. But she made a decision on Christmas Day in 1963 to begin the process, the hard process of her life. Stay tuned to Connections each week this summer for a series of episodes going inside opioid addiction.